What's going on, y'all? I've got some really simple and nice buffs for Zapdos. Um, it's not as heavily reworked or buffed and changed as all the other Pokemon in this hack because it doesn't really need that much. Um, and it also already had, you know, pretty good stat distribution to begin with. Uh, they are changed from the original renditions. In the original renditions, I had him as more of a mixed physical attacker with, uh, I lowered his HP and speed defense, which back then was pretty cool, but honestly, like, he would rather just be have the bulk at this point. Um... So before I get into any of these cool buffs and changes, I do want to have a quick disclaimer. As you can see on screen, there's a bunch of cool little new moves you can see. Uh, not too many in this case, but you know, a good amount. And there's a new ability and all that stuff. And there's all types of other extremely important and useful information that you can find down below in the description. Uh, if you look at that Google Sheet, it's linked right below. You can check out this move sheet. It says search all moves here. And you can check out all of the 600 plus move buffs and changes in the hack. Um, my buffs and changes literally like I reworked pretty much every move, okay? So that's really worth your time to give it a look. I've got all these nice little categories. If you can see them on screen right now, you click these, it'll take you to those sections and you can just check out what all these moves do now. Uh, so yeah, I highly recommend just, you know, you can honestly, I would just recommend if you're totally new here, just to scroll through and, you know, give it all a read and familiarize yourself with all the moves. With that out of the way though, Zapdos has a new ability, which all three of the legendary birds share and a bunch of other regular Pokemon share called Garden Gale, which functions like Delta Stream. Um, Zapdos also doesn't have to worry about entry hazards. This is a ROM hack. It's not 6v6 competitive singles. Um, so you don't have to worry about you know, stealth rocks or anything like that. Maybe like one or two boss fights will abuse it as like a gimmick, but in general, uh, the AI doesn't really know how to pressure the uh, player with hazards, uh, unless it's like sticky webs or toxic spikes, which are a lot easier to, you know, get up and just, you know, for, for them to do their job. Well, rocks is more like, okay, you're supposed to chip away and force switches constantly, which the AI will force switches occasionally, but it's not like a consistent thing. They'd rather just have like a coverage move or something else. Um, so, yeah, uh, that also helps Zapdos out. But Garden Gale, yes, that does mean Zapdos has no weaknesses and all these like people are gonna pog in the comments, oh my god, no weaknesses, he's so good. I personally am of the opinion that having no weaknesses in a, is a very, very overrated trait. It's not bad, obviously, like it's never, obviously it's a nice thing to have, but I would much rather have other defensive qualities as well, like resistances, especially in a ROM hack, where, which by the way, Zapdos has plenty of those because Electrifying does have a very good amount of resistances and very useful ones at that. Um, but I just don't want people to like, I don't know, I don't like when people freak out about the whole no weaknesses thing or only one weakness or this Pokemon has eight weaknesses, it's bad. Like, it's such a stupid mentality, uh, especially for in-game purposes, because you're only fighting against AI. All you have to do is pivot around on the attacks. You know, you, you don't leave your Pokemon in on a uh, attack that you know you're not going to live, especially if you're doing like a hardcore Nuzlocke and you're trying to play strategically, uh, which is, again, what the heck is kind of balanced around. Speaking of, you're supposed to use infinite use ability capsules and infinite EV training items to switch around your EV spreads and your abilities, depending on the situation. So in this case, you can switch to Volt Absorb, when you see that there's an electric type you know, move on the opponent's team that you want to switch in on, you can get that HP, and also just having that immunity is nice, so now you're immune to both ground and electric. Um, and then with Garden Gale, when you see that the opponent has a Ice or Rock type move, now you're neutral to it. And you can also uh, use Weakness Policy plus Garden Gale on any of the Garden Gale Pokemon. There are quite a few, um, as you can see on screen now. You can also just go to Google Sheet and check all of these new abilities out here yourself and see all these new Pokemon that get them. But as for Garden Gale, these are all... The this is way too small. Hold on. Yeah, uh, you can check out all these, but... Yeah, uh, you can use this policy, and it's pretty cool because the AI will still click the super effective move on you. Uh, your bulk isn't like the craziest thing on the planet. It's solid, especially with investment, uh, but like it's not absolutely absurd. You do have much better speed. Yes, Zapdos is great in rain. You know, you got that hurricane, you've got that thunder, you got that weather ball, you got roost, you got parting shot, you got all types of great utility moves like strange impulse and parabolic charge and priority moves like shock wave and stuff. So yeah, he's got lots of great options. Uh, nothing too crazy. The other electric flying types are all all have their own little traits and tools. Emolga being incredibly quick and also having Galvanize and Lightning Rod, I believe. While um, Thunderous has like Defiant and is also Thunderous is faster, uh, just as strong, but way less bulky. And it's a mixed attacker with uh, Tough Claws, Defiant, and Aerolate. And that might be all the electric flying types. No, there's Rotom Fan who has uh, Motor Drive and uh, Aerolate as well. but. Wait, what did I say at Airlight? Oh, I never even realized that two electric flying types of Airlight. Oh, well, I still like how all the genies having Airlight, and also Thunderous is mostly using physical Airlight, so it's not a big deal, because Rotom's using special Airlight. Uh, 
but it, it, look, this is very, very, very sidetracked. Honestly, I don't need to get into too much other detail about these buffs and changes anyways. He does have some good physical moves still, so for very specific boss fights, if you need to hit a Pokemon for like super effective damage, you can run Drill Run, you can run stuff like Takedown, uh, you can run, you know, First Impression technically because your attack stat is usable. It's a 90 base, it's, it's solid, it's, it's a strong attack stat. So you can still use physical Zapdos. Uh, I do wish I had more stats for making him more mixed, but it's whatever. Uh, I do like Zapdos being pretty tanky, so uh, yeah, that's really about it. Um, very simple bust and changes overall for all three of the legendary birds, to be honest. They didn't need too many things. Garden Gale, plus the new utility options, and the other secondary ability, which are all really useful as well, is all they really needed. So yeah, again, I highly encourage you to check out that Google Sheet linked right down below in the description. Uh, you can check out all the move bust and changes. It's really, really important. So if the type of thing interests you, make sure you subscribe to the channel, bookmark the Google Sheets, and yeah, I'll be back for more coming up. Peace, y'all.